Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot kick whatever I've had for like a month. It keeps like going, going, and coming back, going, going, and coming back. So I still sound nasally, but it is what it is. In today's video, I'm just going to be vlogging. I actually finished like almost all my collabs for the month, kind of like ahead of time, which I'm really <laughs> surprised. I don't know how that happened. Um, I didn't have a video planned today and I have a couple errands to run and just kind of some stuff to do before Christmas and kind of prep for. So I figured I would do that in today's video. I want to start off this video with a little PR unboxing. I just have two things that I want to open up with you guys. So firstly, I want to open up this Kinder Beauty box, which is a clean beauty subscription box. And I've never received one of these. I did not open this before filming. So I have no idea what's in here and I'm excited to open it up. I avoid getting the scissors at like all costs. I don't know why I do that. All right, cute packaging. It's got the little card in it. So it says Kinder Beauty Box, the Exhale Box. Yes, that is what I need. Okay, so this card tells you everything that you get in your box with the price on it as well. Cute. So the first thing I see in here is the Lily Ann Naturals Retinol Serum. High potency 2.5 retinol niacinamide hyaluronic complex. That was hard for me. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. So this retails for $27.99. I can't remember how much this box is, so I'm gonna pop it on the screen because I cannot remember like the monthly subscription price. It's a little retinol serum. I'm really excited to try that. I recently in the past year have added a retinol into my skincare and I've seen such a difference. Excited to try that. Next, I see the Extra Dose Hydrate Aloe Vera Bio Aside Hyaluric... Okay. Extra dose hydrate aloe vera cream. Genuinely don't know how to pronounce half of what's on this bottle, but it's like a hydrating cream. Let's give this a go, actually. Maybe not. My hands are so dry this time of year. Mmm, um, this is yummy. Ooh, I like this a lot. It's not greasy, it's like super just like yummy feeling and that retails for $14.99 next in here I see this looks like a little bar soap earth soap ancient clay songbird so this is in the scent songbird I believe this retails for a dollar fifty and it's by Xeon health it smells really really good my mom loves bar soap so I may gift this to her uh, and the next in here, this is the Jasmine Beauty Coastin Highlighter. Retails for $28. Pretty. This looks like it would be like a really pretty blush topper. It's definitely like a pinky rose gold kind of tone. But yeah, really, really pretty as a blush topper. And it looks very fine with like a golden undertone. This honestly, it looks like it would be really gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful I wonder if I can do it with my fingers let's see wowie that's so pretty I don't want to put too much you guys that is stunning I can definitely see myself using that all the time. Okay, and then lastly in here, see this like blue, what is this? It says, it's C-U-C-C-I-O, Sucio, Stomatology, Pause Meditation Mist. Inhale, exhale, a meditation mist to enable that moment of pause from your busy lifestyle. Retails for $32. I love the sounds of this. This might be something I keep next to my bed. Spray in a room to help create a relaxing meditation experience. This is going on my nightstand. I think I'm going to spritz it before I go get ready for bed at night. So then when I get into bed, it's relaxing. Let's give it a sniff. And I love that all of these products are clean. You don't have to worry about like what you're getting in your box and if it's going to be safe or not. Um, I eventually would love to move over to clean beauty products or like mostly or just dabble in it a little bit more. Um, but I'm starting with like our food and stuff first. So my friend Carly has really like switched over most of the things in their life. 
including wow so good and refreshing it's like yeah i was gonna say i definitely smell peppermint peppermint sage that is a dream this right here is worth the box in my opinion i love the smell of this honestly just smelling it i feel like just relaxed me anyway what i was saying is my friend carly has moved over to like all clean pretty much everything so i can see her loving a box like this because it gives you the opportunity to try clean brands and like this highlighter i would never buy like nobody's talking i haven't seen anybody talking about this but they should be <laughs> same even with this hand lotion like it's my hands feel amazing and they were like sandpaper before putting this on this seems amazing and I haven't tried the retinol yet or the um, bar soap, but so I will leave a link and if I have a coupon code or whatever, I'll leave it on the screen and down below. Kinder Beauty Box, what a great gift for the holidays too. Like if you have forgotten somebody or you're just a last minute shopper, this would be a great to gift to them. You could just get them like a little monthly subscription or I think you can get maybe just like one box at a time, but all the information will be down below and I want to thank Kinder for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending this box to me. I'm very impressed. Okay, next I want to open up this package with you guys and this is from the brand Niwa. I think is how you say it, Niwa. It's N-E-I-W-A-I, Niwai, Niwai. I'm the worst at pronouncing things. So anyway, they do like undergarments and loungewear pajamas, but it looks dreamy. It looks luxurious and I'm really excited to see if all is true. So this says cinnamon taste, cinnamon taste. So I think that that is the color that this came in. I think this is a pair of underwear and it says one size. Wow, this color is beautiful. This fabric, oh. So it says barely zero. Um, I don't know if that's like the style or the material, but holy smokes. These look amazing. These are obviously very full coverage. So these are nice um, panties to sleep in or to wear under something very fitted. But these are literally, these feel like second skin and they look like they're gonna fit me. But I can also see why they're like a one size because they look like they would fit a lot of sizes. So. Those look incredible. They've got like the laser cut too. Um, and I don't feel like they're gonna cut me off anywhere because they are so stretchy. The next thing I see in here is this bra. And they sent this in the size extra small, small. So they have a size chart on their website, which is helpful when ordering undergarments. And this looks really, really nice. So it has some really nice stretchy straps on it but it does have the little adjustable um, part right there the fabric is amazing it's kind of like I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of got these like lines going through it so this is like very contouring like this feels very sturdy secure which is what I want around the band nothing is worse than a loose band around your bra when it's like floating around I just I cannot so this looks like it's gonna be nice and snug and stay put so I love that little added detail in there and then in through here this is just like a soft dreamy like much thinner fabric but it does have the pad in it and it seems like the pad is like stuck to the lining so your pad is not gonna be slipping around on you it's not gonna end up over here when you wash your bra so I love that and it does have the adjustable clasp in the back so very excited about this. This is like a great everyday bra. And then they are sending me, I believe, a pajama set. When I receive that, I'll post it on Instagram because it looks like a dream. So lastly, in today's unboxing, I just want to share these socks. So it comes in this cute little box. These socks look amazing. It's like this little gift set of socks. Oh my gosh. These look and feel like a dream. So they're ribbed. I love that like heathered gray. These are nice and thick and like stretchy. They've got like the terry material on the inside. These are really, really, really nice socks. I can see myself wearing these all the time. They look like they're gonna be nice and snug, which is what I like in my socks. And it sounds silly, but I'm actually really picky when it comes to socks, especially boot socks, because I like them to come up to a certain point. I don't know, these just, they look like they're gonna be perfect. Really excited about those. And these colors are just so 
aesthetically pleasing. Oh, thank you to Noai, I really hope I am pronouncing that right, for sending this PR package over to me and sponsoring this portion of the video. And any of the information that I have for them or like coupon codes or anything, I'll leave on the screen and down below. Um, now what do I need to do? I wrote down my to-do list for the day so I don't forget because my brain's kind of all over the place. Um, I need to go eat lunch and take my anxiety meds. <laughs> I feel like that will help. I'm also like not really feeling my outfit today. I love it, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm in the mood for it. All right, I'm whipping up something to eat. So, oh, also <laughs> I changed my outfit. I just was not in the mood. I was kind of just more in like a basic mood. Not so, not so much in like an edgy mood. Awesome. My <laughs> battery's dead. Um, I threw four of these Purdue gluten-free chicken strips in the air fryer at 400 for 10 minutes. I like mine super crispy. If you don't love yours super crispy, do it for like eight minutes on 400. These are bomb. They're like my favorite. And then I'm going to cut up a cucumber, cut up some cherry tomatoes, and some mozzarella with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and make like a little salad. And that's gonna be my lunch. All right, ignore my ice maker. It is so loud right now because it's like making ice as I speak. But here are my chicken strips. I am gonna be dipping them in the organic ranch dressing. This is from Target. It's by the Good and Gather brand. This is by far my favorite, like healthier ranch that I've been able to find and that I've tried. Highly, highly recommend. Here is my salad. Again, it's fresh mozzarella, cucumber, and cherry tomato. Just throw on some of this everything about the bagel seasoning. Yeah, so that will be my lunch. So here I'm at Lowe's and this is the tile that I had originally picked out for the kids' bathroom in the new house. It's so beautiful and it's the exact look that I want. I really want it to look like a tile that could be in a really, really old home because um, that's just like the style of our house. But unfortunately, that is real marble, and I know that real marble is prone to stains. Even if you seal it, there's only so much you can do. So I also love this one, which of course is real marble as well. So this is the look I'm going for, and I'm trying to find a porcelain or ceramic tile that kind of resembles that old, old um, tile look. Unfortunately, nothing caught my eye at Lowe's. Everything is just way too modern for me. I did find this one, um, which was very affordable and not marble, and it does look like an old floor that would be in an old house, but I just don't love it. Even with the white, um, I forget that stuff that goes in between the tiles. I just wasn't in love. Okay, so I just went to Walmart to run a return, and then I went over to Lowe's, and uh, this tile is like killing me, so. <laughs> I want like an old mosaic tile for the kids' bathroom. I pulled a hangnail, by the way. Um, and everything I'm attracted to is marble, like real marble. And it tends to be like a white, a really light white, um, or like a cream color. And everyone is telling me that marble stains. And even if you seal it, it still stains. And to just not do that in a kid's bathroom. And it's on the second floor, which I just feel like I'm not going to be up there like cleaning as much as I would be in like the guest bathroom or something like that so I'm like I know that I will probably regret doing real marble later so I'm trying to find like a porcelain or ceramic um sorry this parking lot's really busy <laughs> like looking around yeah so I'm trying to find a porcelain ceramic or porcelain or ceramic whatever I'm trying to say something that looks old like a mosaic pattern tile that's gonna be more stain resistant so I want it to like feel right on your feet too is that weird like I was kind of like going around the bush around what I'm trying to say but like when I imagine it underfoot I like want it to feel a certain way it's, it's been something trying to find this so anyway if you guys follow me on Instagram I like finalized the tile I found one on Wayfair and I did not realize that they had one quantity left one one box and we need like ten I don't know how many boxes so, <clears throat> yeah, that one box wasn't gonna do. Anyway, I'm at Marshall's. I have a return to do here that has been due for forever, so I'm gonna do that. And then I thought maybe I'll walk around like the toys and I don't know, see if I can get any stocking stuffers or anything else for the kids for Christmas. We really don't need anything, but I also like love buying for our kids. I'm just gonna see if there's like, if anything sparks interest. But with that said, Kyle and I have kind of agreed 
for years to come to do the um, four gift rule, which is something you need, something you can wear, something to read, and something you want. I don't know what order they go in, but that's what we're gonna do from here on out. And then we may do like a couple of stocking stuffers on top of that. Sometime leading up to Christmas, we're gonna kind of go through our things and see if there are any clothing items that we're not really wearing, toys that we're not really playing with anymore. And we're gonna make a basket to donate to children in need. So I think that's just a great way to one, give back and do a good thing. Um, and two, to cycle out some of your clothing, toys, etc., to make room for the new items that you will be receiving for Christmas. Also, obviously, it's teaching your kids a great lesson to um, give to those in need and gives you that opportunity to kind of have those conversations with your kids. And especially around the holidays, I think it's important to be like hyper aware of um, you know, people's situations and um, how fortunate we are. So I want to make sure that our kids are, um, you know, growing up around those conversations and with that awareness. So there's my little holiday chat, but let's run into Marshall's see if we find anything good and do those returns that I've been so badly needing to do. I got you, 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 you dropped this. You, you your socks. Get your socks. I can't wear you. <laughs> Basket. Oh, oh, there you go. That looks like a strawberry frosted. Like what you get, this one, doesn't it? I want chocolate. You want the chocolate? Mine. Yummy. What, what do you want? I like the strawberry frosted one. Mama. I like the chocolate. Mama, chocolate. You would go with the chocolate? Yeah. And then they're pink. And then they're pink. Let me see. Oh. Allie, don't touch that camera, please. <laughs> She's looking. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my goodness. You scared me and spit in my eyeball. All right, Knox is watching The Grinch. I just put Ellie down. Um, I'm going to make dinner for us. I wanted to make mom and my stepdad my ramen recipe. It's like healthy ramen at home. It's so good. I make it like a bunch of different ways, but this is like the good, if you wanna buy all the ingredients, yummiest way to make it. So what you're gonna need, and I'll leave this below, and I apologize because between the TV and the dishwasher, it's probably pretty noisy. If you buy one of these, by the way, the brand is Ocean's Halo organic ramen noodles it comes with four if you buy one of these boxes you can do a whole box with a whole box of stock and it's like perfect unless you like your soupy you might want a little more broth but that kind of gives it like it's a, like a little bit runny but it absorbs most of the stock another brand of ramen that I really really like that I get at Target is this one my sister-in-law Emily got me hooked on this it's so good like if I cook for myself and I just want something comforting I'll just do this because it comes with like the seasoning pack and everything and it's just so good I prefer the spicy one much over the other one but they do have a regular this is the spicy one um, obviously it says that right on the front but those are individually packaged as well and like I said it has like the seasoning right in there and these are healthy like these are much 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 healthier for you than regular ramen but the ingredients are very minimal and um, yeah so they're like approved by like our standards when come when it comes to like ingredients and stuff what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to cook these in your stock so I'm gonna start boiling some stock I like to pour a little bit of olive oil in with it so my noodles don't stick and then I have some chopped veggies over here you can chop you can choose whatever veggies you like to top your noodle bowls with so I'm gonna saute these in a separate pan and then I also have some chicken. So this is like a rotisserie chicken that I'm gonna cut up and I will throw in with the noodles and broth and it just helps give it some more like flavor. Also I bought this little lounge set at Marshall's tonight. I could not help myself. It's so cute and so comfy. All right, I have my broth and a little bit of olive oil starting to heat up. And then I threw in onion and carrot, olive oil, and a little bit of broth. Um, and then I'm gonna put a cover on it because I like to kind of like steam them. And then once that's like, I don't know, a third of the way cooked, I'll throw on the broccoli, 
just because I don't like the broccoli too overcooked. I want it to taste fresh. Um, and for seasoning in this, I usually leave it pretty simple. I might do like a pinch of salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. Usually like doesn't need much at all. This, okay, this, not great for you, but it is so good. Let me read the ingredients in this. Salt, sugar, pepper. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's not a ton of ingredients, but I'm not sure what monosodium glutamine or whatever gluten, glutamate it's probably not good but anyway this is so good on top of noodles this is the one thing that's like you could probably do something healthier just plain red pepper flakes would be better which I do sometimes but my mom got me hooked on this and it's just so stinking good All right, noodles are done, guys. Just so you can get an idea of like the broth and noodle ratio. See how it's like soupy, but it's definitely not like soup. And these noodles, as you can see, they look very similar to like real ramen. They're so good. If you ever want like a comfort snack, just cook some of these noodles in broth. Don't worry about the veggies, the chicken, anything. And it's just so sinking good. But here are the veggies. I threw the broccoli in, so that's steaming now. Let's have just another minute or so. And I threw the chicken in here as well. Um, Knox is still up with us and he decided he wanted some. The kids love this. He'll just eat his plain, but yeah, the kids can absolutely house some ramen. All right, guys, here it is. I like to put it in a big bowl so that I like can curl up on the couch and eat the, yeah, just keep blowing on it, babe. So good. These are what the, chilies look like it's very spicy and I like that it has peanuts in it it's kind of weird but I swear it's so good dinner was so good but I regret letting Knox stay up so late because hopefully he's not tired tomorrow um, but I was interrupted like multiple times while I was trying to eat and I just wanted to eat it when it was hot and I wanted to like I said curl up with a bowl of noodles it's the little things, especially when you're a mom. It's like you just want to sit and eat and like you don't feel like talking. You don't, I don't, I don't feel like talking. Sometimes when I'm eating, I'm like, just let me eat, please. It doesn't take me long, okay? It takes me like four and a half minutes to finish my meal, so please just give me that four and a half minutes. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got at TJ's and Marshall's because I really haven't done <coughs> a shopping haul from there in a while and I don't shop there often anymore only because I cannot really link things for you guys. So I feel like, I don't know, creating content around it. I'm like, and finding things on Marshall's and TJ's website is like a joke. Anyway, what I would like to do is place an order on TJ's website or Marshall's website. That way I have the links like already, because I ordered them online, um, and then do like a haul that way. But I find their site isn't super attractive. Like it's, you really gotta dig to like kind of find good stuff. But anyway, um, at Walmart, I picked up these Bluetooth headphones. These were super cheap. They were 20 bucks. Um, I guess these are like the Walmart brand. They're the Groove On. I just need some cheapy ones because I believe my dad got me some Beats um, for Christmas. He was, they were asking, my dad and my stepmom were asking what I wanted for Christmas. And I was like, you know what? I don't know what happened to my headphones. I just think I left the gym without them one time. Your sound machine. Is making a weird noise. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. No, it's too loud. Okay, sweetie, I'm gonna come turn it down, and then I need you to stay in your room. It's so almost. What like... is this? No, these are Christmas presents that I don't want you to see. In your room, please. Oh my gosh, perfect example of <laughs> the other day. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. The other day I was watching a TikTok mom. She was talking about how she does not believe in telling your kid to stay in their room. She believes that if they need to come out to ask for a snack or to um, ask for whatever it is, that they should be able to come out of their room. And I'm like, yes, like I, I, I kind of love that. You know, if my kid wants to come out and ask for another hug, whatever, like I hear you. And I could do that with Elodie. Elodie would respect that and she <laughs> would not push the boundary and she would use it for like if she really truly, you know, had that one night 
a month where she maybe didn't eat enough for dinner and her belly was grumbling in bed. With Knox, if we allowed him to do that, he would literally be out of his room every, he already is, five minutes for something. I have a hangnail. I have a scratch I need a band-aid for. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Meanwhile, he just had a million snacks. I have to pee. I'm like, you just peed. You literally just peed um, two and a half minutes ago. Like sometimes I feel like when there's parents of one child who share their opinions on things, it's like it's it's just really hard when you have one child because it may work for your child. But when you have multiple kids, I feel like you really get conditioned for like <laughs> it all. Like I said, there's so much, there's so many things that I could do with one child that would work that I cannot do with the other child. Uh, so anyway, that was Knox's fourth time out of his room and he's been in his room for 18 minutes. And I don't, I don't threaten him. He sleeps with his door cracked. <laughs> like, I just tell him, like, you need to stay in bed and rest your eyes, you know. Do not get up unless you have to pee. Um, or unless there's an emergency. Here are the headphones I got. Um, I hope they're, like, fully charged. I gotta make sure they are charged for the gym tomorrow. But, yeah, so anyway, I don't know what happened to my other headphones. I needed some new, cheapy ones. And I think my dad and my stepmom got me Beats for Christmas. So I'm kind of, like, patiently waiting on those. But these look like they'll do. So, for Marshall, I picked up some Christmas bags. I thought that these would be cute to put my niece's um, gifts in. Came in a four-pack, so they're, like, white and pink. I grabbed this one because I thought it was cute. Also at Marshall's, I grabbed this. I'm not going to say for who, but a little in my life. And these are Knox's favorite. Like, he loves these and the magnetiles. So, um, I know that who we bought them for will love them as well. I got this for Sissy. I... <laughs> the bag, though. The bag. It was on sale. It was 16 bucks. But I thought the top was really, really cute. It's got a cute little print on it. and has birds on it, which birds are her favorite. And then it's got these little, like, corduroy pants with it. Also for Sissy, I grabbed her this little Nike sweatshirt. How freaking cute is the trim on this? Are you joking? Like, look at the little so sinking cute. And for Knox, I grabbed him these little Nike sweatpants. These sweatpants fit him so well because they're nice and tight in the waist. I get him a 4T, which is his true size. These are $12.99. And then <coughs> I also got a pair of just like little Flare yoga pants. They've got like the crisscross in the front. This is by the brand Dance Skin, and this is like the butteriest, softest fabric ever. But I like that these are flare and they've got the little slit at the bottom. I ran over to TJ's because I wanted to find Knox a new winter coat because his, like the whole entire seam right here, shredded, like it just ripped out. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. I didn't find any at Marshall's, so I ran over to TJ's, and DNKY isn't necessarily a brand that I normally, like, buy or gravitate towards, but I thought this was a really nice little winter coat. This is a 4T. It's, like, really, really nice fabric. Oh, my gosh. This says that it was originally $120. So, yeah, I could tell it was a really nice coat, but I guess I didn't realize it was really that nice. It's got nice fleece pockets and stuff, so... And it's like lined with like a Sherpa, really fuzzy, cozy. He'll be, <laughs> he'll be excited about that. And then I got this as a gift for a little in our life as well. They're the little mushiest stacking cups. My kids loved these and they're fun because you could bring them in the tub too. But I really liked this color scheme. And um, they were a lot less expensive at TJ's than they would be like on the website. I say a lot less. It was like $5.00 cheaper. Lastly, I grabbed this little crop sweatshirt. It was 15 bucks and something that I will definitely like wear to the gym all the time. I have a cropped black one, a cropped tan one, and I've been wanting a little like heathered gray one. I'll just wear this all the time. I love my cropped sweatshirts and this one felt perfect. So that is that. Something I do want to talk to you guys about though is I don't know if I'm going to continue vlogging on YouTube and it kind of makes me sad to say that but I honestly I was consciously like thinking about it the past couple weeks and then I just had a conversation with Emily my sister-in-law about um creating more like vlog like content on TikTok and just like real life mom life stuff on there 
and I just think that like the past couple years have been so overwhelming for me because I was like a vlogger like that's like what I did and then I kind of like got back into my fashion videos which is where my channel started and it kind of took off when I did that so I've stuck to that since like um, and then mixed in some vlogs and like real life stuff here and there but it's extremely overwhelming because I'm constantly like trying to put out fashion content and vlogging content and post on Instagram fashion content and my real content and on TikTok like it's just kind of all over the place I feel like I don't have like any separation or any organization in my head I have like goals and things I want to film and do and whatever but I just feel like so all over the place um so I feel like I would really like my YouTube channel um especially because I have like such a larger like I have a much larger following on here um I feel like I really just want to keep on here like beauty and fashion and like stuff like that and maybe do like a couple family vlogs um a year and then on TikTok I would love to just post like even like a day in the life little like vlog just little snippets of our day or like our morning routine nighttime routine kind of stuff and especially when we get into the new house like when we have space and I have like stuff that I can actually like set up with I just feel like everything has been so temporary here so even like my workstations and like what I'm working with feels so temporary that like in a house I'd love to have a big tripod in my office that I you know will use all over the house whereas like right now we're just so crammed it's like I can't even get the camera far enough away for you to actually like see what's going on um <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of where I my my head is at and I feel like Instagram for a while has kind of been like more of that real um life content and everything, but I'd like to create stuff for TikTok. But also like when I film a haul, I still want to create like outfit videos and like little mini hauls for my TikTok and for my Instagram. I'll like always be putting that stuff out there too, but just kind of make that shift where like I'm not sharing as much life stuff on here and I hope that's not as heartbreaking for you guys as it feels for me because I'm like I know that a lot of you guys started following me when I became a mom of two and when I was vlogging and stuff all the time but so yeah hopefully you guys can understand and hopefully that's enjoyable like I love watching TikTok and um I love watching like the real life stuff and like the more vlog like content on there so we'll see how it goes I can always change my mind I can always come back to vlogging on here maybe I'll miss it more than I realize so I'm just gonna find a better balance than what I have going right now because it's just like it's just too much, it's too much. <laughs> but with all that said now I'm looking at the time and it says I've been filming for almost 20 minutes so I am going to end the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will soon do a nighttime skincare routine for TikTok. That's something I definitely plan on doing just because I recently kind of changed up my skincare. And I want to share that with you guys. So if you don't already follow me on TikTok, go ahead and follow me over there. I don't have a large following. I've been very wish-washy. I'm not super consistent posting, but I want to be. So definitely follow me over there and I love you guys so much. I don't think I'll see you until after the holidays so happy holidays. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'm sending hugs and love to anybody who is missing somebody this holiday season or who is struggling. I know that Christmas is like a really happy joyful time but I also know for so many people it is a challenging time and it's a hard time and it can be very very sad depending on what your situation is so my heart just goes out to people um speaking of tiktok i saw a video of somebody who lost like all of their siblings in a car accident and it was um like exactly a year ago and i just i literally i was watching it while i was eating lunch today and i was crying anyway my heart goes out to anybody missing somebody this holiday season we are missing Kyle so, so much, and the holidays definitely are not the same without him, but I'm very thankful he is safe, and he is sleeping right now soundly in a bed far, far, far away. I'm looking for my phone because he usually actually texts me right about now because um, we're on opposite time zones, but very thankful that he will be home in the next couple months. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.